Hi, it's Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com with a quick look at um, Google Calendar on the uh, Google Android on the HTC Desire. Now, normally you probably use the um, built-in calendar app that comes with the phone, which kind of looks something like this. Um, very nice um, little app, um, works very well. Um, you can look at all the different views, um, and, it, and, it, and it's okay. Um, I've come across a couple of problems with it, and the fact that it doesn't seem to show all the calendars that I have on my Google, Google Calendar, it doesn't sync with all of them, and also it doesn't have my tasks on there, so if I want to do tasks I've got to go to a separate thing. However, what you should try um, is go on the internet using the internet browser and go to um, Google Calendar and then scroll down to the bottom um, when, when it goes to the mobile site and say use the desktop edition and then what you can do is create a link to that so that so as you can see I've done here on my my home screen down here with Google Calendar and when you tap on it you get something like this it will come up with this warning and it will say sorry you're trying to use Google Calendar with a browser that is not supported press OK to view a read-only version which we don't want because we want to be able to edit things press cancel to continue loading Google Calendar and hope for the best so let's see what happens so we press cancel and you'll see it load here we go and lo and behold we get Google Calendar, the full version that you would normally have on the desktop, working perfectly on the um, Android browser. And what you can probably see is I'm in week view here. I've got um, the different days here, and I've got my different calendars here, and I've got all my tasks in the same place here, which is great. I don't have to use a separate app from that. I can add new list tasks. I can put dates against them. And I can go into things like um, month view, you know, and I can check on my different um, appointments and what's going on, and it all works very, very well indeed. Where it doesn't seem to work very well is if you tip the phone that way. Oh, that oh no, it works fine like that. I think it's in the in the week view. Let's have a look. Yeah, when you're in the week view, you can see, you know, all your, you've got your times down here and your days across, and you can scroll the way to the bottom. And obviously, you do a lot of pinching and zooming to look around to see what's on. But I think when you tip it that way, it doesn't scroll all the way to the bottom. It kind of gets stuck. So obviously, that's a bit of a problem. But as long as you use the the phone in um, portrait orientation, everything seems to work very, very well. Um, Indeed, so that's my little tip. Um, don't bother with the built-in uh, calendar app. Instead, use the browser to go to google.com forward slash calendar when you're signed into your Google account. And then click, you, you'll find a link near the bottom that says use desktop. Use that one. Say cancel when you get to the warning. And then you've got the full version of Google Calendar. Now, this is really cool. And hopefully what that will mean is that you know, we should see a proper version of Google Docs soon where we can actually edit Docs properly on the internet browser um, because that's sort of sorely missing at the moment. Okay, that's uh, Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com with a quick look at the full version of Google Calendar on the HTC Desire Google Android phone. Thanks for watching.